Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I want to show you how to make a PayPal Buy It Now button. Now I know this doesn't look like a PayPal Buy It Now button, but it is because all I did was use my own button. Okay, so you can have a simple um, ugly little Buy It Now button or you can make your own or you know get someone else's because they're all really common. Um, anyway so I'm gonna go to PayPal okay guys I'm in my PayPal account and what happens is it lands on this page when you go in there but I have gone to merchant services now just say you want to make your first PayPal button now you're probably gonna have to have a like a premier account which is still free or whatever it's just that you can receive money and stuff so I'm not here to tell you how to do that okay I expect that you can receive money already now that's what I'm working on here now all we're gonna do is go down here and we're gonna press on buy it now buttons or buy now buttons okay we can also do the shopping cart thing but let's go here we're just starting off now here it is okay we're just gonna make a button so just say you want someone to pay you ten dollars for something so we'll go um, oh even if you wanted a donation or whatever but let's go buy now okay now the next thing is we're gonna call it something so we're gonna call it the best ebook okay and the item ID and then we're gonna put in a price we're gonna go oh yeah I want um, nine dollars ninety five US dollars you can choose if you want and here it is here there's their ugly little uh, buy it now button and um, you can also add a drop down thing to it to have choices so just say you've got an upgraded version you can put that in there now I'll show you how it works so option one option two let's go let's make option two 12.95 and option three 34 okay so let's have a look now Oh, it hasn't um, refreshed it yet. Let's go down. We'll press done. Okay. Let's have a look. There we go. So there's your choices. Okay. So just say, um, yeah, they wanted the, a better one, so they just pr choose that one there. Now the other thing is, um, you don't have to do that. You just untick it if you don't want it, and just stick to the 9.95. Um, the other thing is um, press on customize and this is where I said use your own button image okay so press on it and then put the URL to your button there so um, just say you saw you shouldn't do this but just for instance um, what you do is you go and upload your button to the internet but see this button here I can just right click on it and say hmm copy image location okay now I'm using Firefox so it'll have a different thing um, on Internet Explorer but it'll be similar okay so then I'd go and paste that in there right because that is where the image is located okay right and that's what's gonna show up then but when people press on it it's going to come to PayPal and get charged $9.95. Okay, um, the next thing is with an ebook and that, of course, we don't need postage, so don't worry about that. But if you do, use it. Okay, etc., um, etc. Et Let's go down here. Now, I've said save the button, that's fine. Now, if you've got um, inventory, you can track it and all that stuff, but I don't, especially with an ebook, you don't. Okay. Um, the next one is custom advanced features. Now, this here I fill out is these ones. Um, do you need the customer's address? And I put no. And then it says, take the customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout so if they decide to buy and then they opt out of it then where do you want to take them do you want to take them to a page and say hey why didn't you buy is it too expensive how about if I give it to you for a dollar cheaper 
right? That's what you can do with that. The next thing is take the customer to the page when they're finished. So just say they've gone right through the checkout and you want to take them to the page where they can get their download or whatever they're getting, okay? Or thank you for purchasing, blah, blah, blah. Right, and then you press on create button. Now I'm not going to press on that because I've got enough buttons already. Okay, so that's what it is. Now let's just go back here. So it's not going to create the button because I haven't pressed it. But let's say go to my saved buttons. Okay, so this is a few buttons that I've got. Like, because I sell a few books, you know, on different websites and stuff. Okay, so just for an example, let's go, it says Computer Basics 2010. So let's go here. Oh, I better change that because it's 2011 now. Anyway, you shouldn't put the date on your books, okay? It's naughty. Right, so the next thing is, um, let's press on View Code. Oh, well, let's say, well, look, I, you already know, if I press on Edit button, it's just going to show you what I just did just then, okay? So, this is the code that it comes up with. I'm going to show you the code. Okay, so this is the website code, and this is a form. And all you do is copy all that, right click on it, copy it, and then go and paste it into the HTML section. Okay? So, just say you were putting it into a WordPress website, so you can put it into a post or a page. All you have to do is go, when you're writing that page, go into the HTML section and paste this code in there, okay? Um, now I usually put the code into a div as well. I'm going to show you on a notepad. Right, so there's the code. Now the reason I put it into a div is because it ends up on the left and I like to center it. So I put it in div um, div align, I'm trying to remember what I do, equals dirt, center, dirt, dirt, <laughs> excuse the sound effects, and um, I'm a backyard HTML expert, <laughs> okay, I don't even know what these things are called, I just know how to do it. Okay, so this here, is what I call a div, which is like a divider or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. And I'm aligning it into the center and um, that's what it does. It puts it in the center instead of on the side or wherever. Okay, all right, um, I don't know, what else do you want to know? If you want to know something else, come to my website and ask me, you know, if you've got more questions. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay, see you later.